What I'm about to share is actual working prototype technology, not mocked up demos or concept art. Let's start by following up on Verifocal and the Half Dome prototype, last seen at F8 more than a year ago. The headset we shared at F8 was the result of several years of research and prototyping of advanced display systems. Half Dome was our first prototype to achieve two milestones. First, using Fresnel lenses, it supported a 140 degree field of view. Second, by physically moving the screens based on eye tracking, it changed the focal depth and kept the image sharp even when inspecting close objects. Today, I'm pleased to be able to share a new varifocal concept prototype, Half Dome 2, built by our display systems research team working closely with several other teams across FRL. Unlike the original Half Dome, Half Dome 2 is targeted primarily at ergonomics and comfort, both visual and physical. The new prototype is substantially smaller and lighter than Half Dome, largely because our optics team has managed to fold the optical path into a very small volume. Overall, we've been able to improve form factor substantially and reduce weight by a full 200 grams over Half Dome. The trade-off for that increased comfort is that the field of view is narrower than Half Dome, although still 20% wider than Quest. The varifocal hardware has also been considerably improved, so let's take a quick look at that. Varifocal now relies on voice coil actuators and flexure hinge arrays, eliminating any points of sliding or rolling contact between the moving screen and the pod assembly. This improves on the original half dome by reducing noise and vibration to imperceptible levels. All in all, Half Dome 2 continues the trajectory of Half Dome toward more immersive and comfortable VR displays. But there's more. As I said earlier, we're inventing as fast as we can, so I'm delighted to be able to share our first electronic varifocal system, Half Dome 3. We've replaced all moving parts in Half Dome 2 with a thin stack of liquid crystal lenses. Let's take a look at a prototype module to understand how electronic varifocal works. The next few images will be recorded through the electronic varifocal module you see here. This is a real camera shot. Each liquid crystal lens can be turned on and off to alternate between two focal states. Here we indicate that a lens is on by highlighting it in orange. When the lens is turned off, the focus shifts to the far object. And then when the lens turns back on, it shifts to the near object again. As you can see, a single, single liquid crystal lens makes a great pair of digital bifocals, shifting focus between two depths. To achieve smooth varifocal, we address the full stack of liquid crystal lenses with each additional pair doubling the number of focal planes. In this example, six liquid crystal lenses are driven to sweep through 64 focal planes, and you can see the focal depth smoothly changing at the right as we cycle through different sets of lens states. In addition to having no moving parts, this approach allows significantly better form factor compared to its predecessors. Here, we compare our new electronic module to the original half dome assembly and see that there's a considerable reduction in size. When we integrate the electronic module into a complete prototype headset, it defines a new state of the art for VR ergonomics. This is still very much research today, but here's a view through an early Half Dome 3 prototype. As you can see, without varifocal, the cassette gets blurry up close. But the electronic approach is able to replicate the smooth varifocal experience of mechanical systems at all depths, a promising sign for the future. If you'd like to know more about our varifocal work, we'll be putting up a deep dive blog post today.